Disclaimer, disclaimer, this channel follows YouTube guidelines. Today on a probation revocation. Honeycomb Brazy, whose real name is Nishan Jones, was on probation for a 2016 New conviction. New a rapper whose grandparents died in a shooting. So breaking from us tonight, Mobile February rapper Honeycomb Brazy, whose grandparents' high-profile murder remains unsolved, back in Mobile, locked up in Metro Rapper tonight. Honeycomb Brazy indicted on new charges. The indictment filed this week a in Fox Mobile News exclusive. exclusive. A possible break in a high-profile unsolved murder case. Yeah, Lanason accused drug case Kingpin, who briefly escaped jail yesterday, named as a person of interest in the murders of Tony and Layla Lewis. They're the grandparents of local rapper with a big Honeycomb one. Brazy. He tells me this man, Darren Southall, is a person of interest in the Lewis May murders. May have been a murder a for hire. Southall is a dangerous man, according to Barber, and his rap sheet backs that up. He's been in and out of Mobile and Baldwin County jails since the 90s. He's currently accused by Say the Say, man, you ain't got no motion. We gonna throw your ass in the ocean. M-O-C-E-A-N. I got motion. I'm on the air like lotion. No, yeah. This video follows the copyrights acts. What's good, YouTube family? What's up with all of y'all? Before we start right away with the Honeycomb Brazy News, make sure you hit that like button. Honeycomb Brazy News is like a series waiting to happen. Breaking news, breaking news. A suspect of interest has been confirmed in the case of Honeycomb Brazy and his grandparents, just like when we remembered his grandfather. June 22nd. Meanwhile, an autopsy has shown that the rapper's grandfather, Tony Lewis, died of a gunshot wound before that house in Happy Hill caught on fire. Investigators have not determined the cause of death of his grandmother, Layla Lewis. Now, I'm going to play the full news video for you. I'm just giving you a summary because it's been like a movie. That was his grandfather when they confirmed he was shot. Yes. And the mom, well, the grandmother that was, I guess the body was in the flames so much at the time the reports are they couldn't confirm or not in the autopsy. So it let us know a lot of things. A lot of things happened that night. Honeycomb Brazy himself told us what happened that night it was an oxygen tank in there and it made it go in flames more so honeycomb brazy really believed they went in his house to actually do this confirmed hit on his grandparents the sad part honeycomb brazy got arrested before the funeral you know what i'm saying he had to go through things like that the shame, the shame, the shame. And drug charges. The DA's office tells me a day or two before he came home to Mobile for his grandparents' funeral, an alleged shootout between his group and a rival group was posted or live streamed on social media. I'm told it happened as Honeycomb Brazy stood outside of a barber shop in Montgomery. The DA's office says in the video, a car is seen pulling up and firing at Jones' group. The rapper allegedly pulling out a gun and firing back. His arrest coming two and a half months after his grandparents, Tony and Leela Lewis, Happy Hills home exploded moments after neighbors heard gunshots, both of them killed. An autopsy confirmed his grandfather died after being shot multiple times. However, his grandmother's cause of death still has not been determined. Look, they got a lot of things that they got in this case, and this is the portion that I'm going to play for you guys. And I want you guys to pay attention in detail as they go to the full totality and explain you about the suspect, the kingpin that is by the name of Mr. Southall, Darren Southall, that is the 42 year old, because a lot of people in the reports said he was 40 years old. No, he is 42. I'm going to fall back and let you guys listen to the actual media news report, and then I'll come back and break down some more stories about who this gentleman is and what's going on. A Fox News exclusive, a possible break in a high profile unsolved murder case. Yeah, Lanason accused drug kingpin who briefly escaped jail yesterday, named as a person of interest in the murders of Tony and Layla Lewis. They're the grandparents of local rapper. Yeah, Honey that's Cone right, Lanice. And that's just part of the story. The big news tonight is that for the first time since Tony and Layla Lewis were murdered inside of their home months ago, detectives telling me they're taking a long, hard look at a guy named 
Darren Southall. He's here tonight on federal Before drug his charges. House was set on while I want to make it clear again, Southall has not been charged with any crimes in relation to the Lewis's murder. Again, I'm told he is just a person of interest. Investigators meantime tell me that they believe multiple people are involved in the Lewis's murder. So if you know anything, anything at all that could help law enforcement solve this case, give them a call. Live tonight in Bay Minette, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News. I mean, that's not the only thing. This story goes more brazy and out of control. No pun intended. Now, the kingpin himself, Mr. Darren Southall, he's a well-known kingpin throughout Alabama and the hip-hop industry since the 90s all the way to 2021. This guy was escaping prison. That's right. He was escaping. You want to know, is this a movie? Who helped him out? Were there police members involved allegedly? This guy, let's make it cl uh, clear. He is not a suspect. He is just a suspect that they have interest in, a person of interest. What's good, Smoke Gang and YouTube family? Do me a favor. We are continuing with the video, but I want you guys to hit the notification bell to make sure you get great stories and follow me on Instagram. Hit the subscribe, notifi notification bell, and Instagram. Now they're saying even though he's not charged yet, but most likely he will be charged. They're confirming it's a lot of people involved. This man is a man of notoriety. When Honeycomb told you guys that the whole city hates him, he's the most hated man. And they're telling you different counterparts and ops join forces together to do this vast hit on his grandparents. Now the accused drug kingpin who briefly escaped jail on Tuesday is a purchase of interest in the murders of Tony and Lizia Lewis, the grandparents of Honeycomb Brazy, for the first time since the couple was killed in their fox home, well, I'm sorry about that, but in their homes, news has learned that the detectives were still watching this gentleman and have been watching him for quite a few time. They know Mr. Darren Southall for quite a few years. Now, the husband and wife were found dead inside their Happy Hills home in February. Neighbors said they heard gunshots before their home exploded. Y'all know Honeycomb already explained due to the oxygen that was inside there. Investigators believe their murders were in retaliation for a beef of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy, whose real name is Nashawn Jones, had with someone, Mobile Chief of Staff James Barber said South Hall is a person of interest in the case. Another source close to the investigation said the killings are not just that, it has been made and known made for hire. Bro, when they're doing made for hire and you got kingpins involved and kingpins escaping prison like this is Tony Montana or El Chapo style, you got to ask yourself, did the gentleman, Mr. Darren Southall, escape prison at the time because he knew he knew somebody told somebody folded like a two dollar fake bill he knew his days were numbered as far as discharge because he has a whole lot of other charges going on he's been sentenced here and there he is a real official player involved in this case i'm being told they sold everything anything you can name any drug familiar you can name it was sold through the streets of alabama this dude darren hall was a big time player he's being indicted right now though on marijuana charges right now and sources saying maybe that's some of the reasons as well but 90 percent they're being leaning it towards honeycomb brazy situation as why he is leaving look man honeycomb i pray you see what's going on i seen a text you sent the guap guap told you to leave and you told him through the dms you know what you're doing it's your home but my g i know you're like fbg doug rest in peace i just don't want to see you be the one also deceased bro leave your home you can love afar and help afar that's all i'm saying man look i'm your god bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live Look, y'all, do me a favor and follow the Instagram again. Hit me through my emails. And if you want to support this channel, hit us with a PayPal and a Cash App. And make sure you hit the notification bell. So after subscribing and watching, even if you hit it before, do it again and just do it again.